And tonight, Oasingishu County is on the spotlight for yet another saga, this time revolving around a potential employment scam. A number of youthful job seekers are tonight demanding justice after they were allegedly swindled by a recruitment agency which had promised them jobs abroad. Some of the job seekers who spoke to Citizen Television claimed that they paid thousands of shillings to a company named First Choice Recruitment and Consultancy Agency to secure placement for various job opportunities overseas, only for them to be taken round in circles. An ad hoc committee of the Wasingishu County Assembly, which was established to investigate the matter, has since recommended that the applicants be refunded their money with immediate effect and the agency's operating license be revoked pending investigations. It is Wasingishu County on the spot again of a yet another saga. A number of job seekers have allegedly been swindled after they were promised job opportunities abroad in a plan that is yet to materialize. According to a report by the Ad Hoc Committee of the County Assembly investigating the matter, the petitioners had submitted that a company named First Choice Consultancy and Recruitment Agency had advertised the jobs on social media and roadshows and later during its mega launch that took place on 20th May 2021 in Eldoret in an event that was graced by prominent leaders. And first choice was launched by many other aspiring uh, uh, leaders by then. So to likuwa na imani. Pesa zimeenda, nilichukua loan kwa family bank kusudi mtoto wangu wa muke. Didn't have to waste it debt. We end ahead and sold our valuable things. I personally sold my motorbike, one and only motorbike I had. I also convinced my parents to sell a piece of shamba that was there to pay for my sister. Most of them had applied for a six-month contract job in Qatar to work during the FIFA World Cup 2022. The communicated date of travel came and passed, but nothing was communicated to the successful applicants with their several visits to the agency's office to make inquiries on the status of their travel, allegedly hitting a dead end. Kimutai Kirui is a human rights activist based in Eldoret. People were paying between 40000 to be in Qatar for a period of a World Cup. Some were paying 200000 to be in Qatar for over two years. And as the issue unfolded, we realized there were also people who were supposed to go to UK who were paying 650000 Most of these people, among the people we interviewed, over 30000 none went. I to Poland, I got 437000 Na At a particular time down the road, my mama was able to get some documents that were not genuine. The petitioners also allege that their efforts to demand refunds from the agency have been fruitless and marred with threats and intimidation. cancellation form, check. Now the same check that it came to bounce. Tunalala kwa mstuni tutafuta pesa kusudi watoto wetu maskini wa muke. Inafika mali matajiri wanakula hizi pesa. According to Kimutai Kirui, several street protests staged by the victims have failed to bear any fruit, prompting them to present a petition to the Wasingishu County Assembly seeking intervention. The petitioners had prayed that the County Assembly ensures that the agency refunds the petitioners' monies and return their passports ascertain whether there was criminal liability or fraud by the agency and take action and to ascertain the legal establishment of the company. You, you are never told what you're going to do out there. So you sign things that you are not really sure, for, sure of because uh, there are terms and conditions of terms of references, but they are never, they are never told. You just come, so you can be a manager, but you are not given a real form to sign what are you going to do. The petitioners also claim that they were lured into signing agreements which lack clarity. Somebody ends up getting so many people, but they don't take them. That's why they keep on closing their offices. After people are taken in, they've paid their money. After two months, their offices are closed. And then they change the name of the company to something else. In its recommendations, the ad hoc committee advised that in order to avert such cases, the National Employment Authority should conduct thorough due diligence on these recruitment agencies before issuing certificates of registration. Nair was also tasked to investigate first choice recruitment and consultancy agency and if found culpable, 
take necessary action, including revoking its license. The committee also want the director of Fast Chase Recruitment and Consultancy Agency to refund the monies paid by the applicants and return applicants' passports, original documents and other testimonials in their possession with immediate effect.